Dennis Rodman joins us right now. I guess you don't find it scary. I, no, it's not scary. <laughs> it's amazing, man. Wow, man. You know what? It was such uh, a great experience. Uh, me and my, uh, I call him my son, Elkin King. Um, we went there, man, and it wasn't supposed to be like that. It was supposed to be like, you just meet the guy and just have a good time. And it turned into such an event. And I have right. to ask you first, when you said you love Kim and think he's awesome, were you aware of his threats to destroy the United States and, and his regime's horrendous record on human rights? But, but one thing about that, you know what? I didn't look at all that right there. I understand what he's doing. I don't condone that. I hate the fact that he's doing that. But the fact of it is that, you know what? That's a human being, though. He let his guards down. He did one thing to me. Been a friend. I didn't talk about that. I understand that. I understand that. Still, so I think when you grow up in an in environment, especially when your grandpa and your uh, and your father, the one thing the kids only 28 years old. You called them great leaders. You really believe That's that? Okay. No, what I saw in that country, I saw in that country, and I saw how people respect him and his family. That's what I mean about that. Aren't great they forced leaders to? there? Huh? Aren't they forced to? Yeah. I see. Yeah, that's pretty good.